You know, ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, the uh, the media spin that's coming out of the internet right now regarding Robin Hood is pretty damn hilarious. You know, I love I love reading the articles because they really are funny. They are very funny. And you know what? When you read articles like this, this one comes from Hip Hop Canada, whatever the hell that is. When you read articles like this, OK, they talk about things that will literally make people run away and not want to watch this TV show at all. And it's funny because they think that this stuff is what people want to see. Like they think they think people want to see a show about real life racism and injustices and equality and all this other stuff that is BLM talking points. They think that that's what people want to see. And uh, they're so excited to showcase it. And then they're going to wonder where the hell did all the viewership go? Why is nobody watching this show? Oh, it's because everybody's racist. That's why they're not watching this show. So let's get into this article, guys from Hip Hop Canada. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm Shadow Ban as hell and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. So it says, in the bustling world of television where creativity knows no bounds, Canadian network Global TV has taken a bold step by bringing to life a contemporary reimagining of the classic tale Robin Hood. Well, first off, it's not a bold step, okay? This has been done 500 times in the last year, all right? This is nothing new. If this was if this was done 10 years ago, you might be able to say, oh, it's a bold step, but this is nothing new. They, they Race swapping and everything, taking old English tales and turning them into ratchet stories, like this is nothing new, and they do this all the time. So this is far from being bold. It says Robin Hood, which airs Wednesdays, is a groundbreaking, it's not groundbreaking at all, near, near fight action drama that mirrors the modern struggles of a fear fearless young woman against the backdrop of a society marred by inequality and corruption. Oh, God, it sounds amazing. It sounds like a liberal's wet dream, which is basically what this show is. So it says Robin Hood is directed by prolific Canadian music director and acclaimed TV director and filmmaker Director X. That's a lot of director words. And written by award-winning screenwriter Chris Roberts, it's set out to captivate audiences with its unique blend of hip-hop, activism, and the age-old struggle against racism and injustice. Oh, I'm just excited. I'm so excited for this show. Aren't you guys excited? Look at this. Why would you not want to see this unique blend of hip hop, activism, activism, right? Activism. That's clearly what we want to see in our TV shows. And the age old struggle against racism and injustice, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, racism and injustice. This is what you want to see in your TV shows. We need more stories about racism and injustice because clearly black people are oppressed. They don't have the same rights as everybody else in this country or any other country for that matter. Let's just talk about this country for that, you know, because obviously it's Canada and it's, it's United States. But yeah, clearly they don't have the same rights. Clearly they are oppressed. You know, they're lesser people they're all this stuff that these white liberals want you to believe and unfortunately there's a lot a lot of black people that do believe that it says in this modern adaptation modern meeting in this black adaptation because that's really what it is robin loxley portrayed by the talented jesse romeo not so talented because honestly she sucks you know it, it sucks because i feel like she could be talented but unfortunately by her trying to mask her voice she just completely falls flat every single time isn't your typical superhero. Oh, you sure about that? She is a genzer who is fueled by modern society's injustices. Instead of superhuman abilities, Robin relies on her determination, wit, and hip-hop-infused sense of justice. Her mask-wearing hip-hop group, The Hood, known for their inventive videos and anti-authoritarian message, adds a creative layer to the character. Robin finds herself fighting a corrupt elite led by a wealthy real estate tycoon, John Prince, and the formidable sheriff of New Nottingham in the new city of Nottingham, where the wealth gap is growing. The series aims to reflect the stark realities of a society where the cost of living has skyrocketed, leaving many struggling to survive. Well, the funny thing is, is they're not struggling to survive because clearly every time the cops show up, they're perfectly fine throwing their food out the window to throw on top of the cop's car. So they can't be struggling that much if they're willing to get rid of their food. Not only that, the whole wealth gap is growing nonsense. Well, maybe you should probably try to do something that will increase your own personal revenue. You know what I mean? Like instead of trying to take from someone else and blaming everybody else for your problem, why don't you try to do something that's going to garner you more money? You know what I mean? Like this is the problem. People have different there's different cultures that affect different ways that people live their lives right so unfortunately there is a certain group of people that have a certain culture that literally 
that really idolizes being poor essentially or or being or doing everything else other than the right thing and that's the problem you know and they they love to say oh white people white people are the problem white people give the worst you know it's not true because the the number one earning race of people in this country is asian they're not even white people so what are you going to say they have white privilege of course director x known for his innovative work in the music and film industries brings a fresh perspective to the timeless robin hood legend yeah because clearly making everyone black and throwing in some hip-hop music is fresh it says his vision for robin hood is in sync with today's societal landscape making it a relevant and engaging story for viewers how how so how is it in sync with today's societal landscape how by by trying to convince everybody that all, all you got to do is yell at a cop and he's going to shoot you in the stomach like is that is that what it is because that's what happened in episode one or if you want to go and do a peaceful protest because we all know what they mean when they say peaceful protest they all want to reference blm protests there were anything but peaceful but again you want to make this whole thing like how is this how is this today's societal landscape that's what i want to know it says but robin hood is more than just a television series it's a cultural statement oh here we go this is the best part with its hip-hop influences modern storytelling what what is modern what is modern about the storytelling you know it, they just they don't want to admit that modern is just slang for black that, that that's all it is they they want to they want to keep saying oh it's modern storytelling it's a modern reimagining just say it's a black reimagining. Just say it's a black story now. Like that's that's what you really want to do. It says in a cast that reflects diversity and talent, the show is on track to resonate with audiences across the globe. However, controversy has seized the headlines and dominated race discussions within the sci-fi community. Director X has denounced the racist responsible for orchestrating what he believes is a rating bomb campaign against Robin Hood, emphasizing the hostility unleashed from the announcement of a black woman, Romeo, playing the lead role. The backlash has manifested in YouTube videos, tweets, and IMDb rating review bombs since the show's release. So again, you, uh, you know, I, I made videos about the whole review bombing thing obviously it's nonsense this guy's trying to pass it off as all oh, you guys are just angry and review bombing me even though he literally in his comments is encouraging people to give 10 out of 10 fake reviews so that's not review bombing but god forbid a one out of 10 that's five paragraphs long telling you exactly what's wrong with the show that's review bombing but no 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 the, the fake 10 out of 10s not review bombing at all totally legit ladies and gentlemen then it says the reimagined story of robin hood challenges traditional storytelling by casting romeo as the fame here Hero, deviating from the traditional portrayal of the Robin Hood character by a white actor. The cast also features black actors and individuals from diverse backgrounds in supporting roles. In the lead up to the premiere, some YouTubers criticized the series as woke garbage, setting the stage for the controversy that followed. Well, we all know who they're referring to when it comes to the woke garbage nonsense. Director X revealed the severity of the rating bombing by displaying the dismal 1.610 out of 10 score on IMDb and sharing snippets from disparaging YouTube videos, highlighting the racist undertones, Driving the backlash. Man, these people, this is Canada, baby. I'm telling you, hip hop Canada, woke as hell. I am not surprised. And you know what? This is this is the problem. This is the big problem. This is, you know, when I when I wanted to talk to Director X, I wanted to make him realize that it's not the casting of black people that's the problem. It's not the fact that you're reimagining a story that's the problem. It's the media frenzy that follows it every single time, okay? Whenever you have black actors taking over the role of known white characters, the media frenzy that follows causes the issue that a lot of people have with it. Then it becomes a discussion where, oh, okay, this really is about identity politics. This entire thing is about identity politics. So even if you made this show without the attention of identity politics, which I don't believe, but even if you did, everything that follows in your interviews and the media frenzy that follows goes and proves that statement easily it proves that all of this is about identity politics so you make this show then you call everybody racist and you want people to believe this has nothing to do with identity politics yeah it doesn't quite work that way so again ladies and gentlemen this is where we're at with robin hood i thought this article was hilarious from good old woke canada hip-hop canada and uh, i wanted to bring it to you guys so that we can laugh at it together so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out